Hi students, good morning. Welcome to 7th standard max class. Last class, we learned some statement sums given in exercise 1.3. In this class, we do the remaining sums given in one exercise 1.3. Fifth sum. Check the following for equality and if they are equal, mention the property. 8 minus 13 into 7 is equal to 8 minus of 13 into 7. Left hand side equal to 8 minus 13 into 7. Here we do the sub subtraction first and then multiplication. The difference between 8 and minus 13 is minus 5. Minus 5 is multiplied with 7. We get minus 35. Right hand side equal to 8 minus of product of 13 and 7. Here we do the multiplication first and then subtraction. The product of 13 and 7 gives 91. And we now we find the difference between 91 and 8. We get 83. Here, largest number having negative sign. So, the answer takes negative sign. So, right hand side equal to minus 83. Here, left hand side equal to minus 35. Right hand side equal to minus 83. Both are le left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Okay. Second subdivision, minus 6, minus 8 into minus 4 and minus 6 minus of product of 8 and minus 4. Left hand side equal to minus 6 minus 8 into minus 4. Here we do the subtraction first and then multiplication. So now we add minus 6 and minus 8 because both the integers having same sign. So we add minus 6 and minus 8. We get minus 14. Then minus 14 is multiplied with minus 4. Here even number of times negative sign gives positive integer. Okay. Mi minus 14 is multiplied with minus 4 equal to plus 56. So left hand side equal to plus 56 then right hand side equal to minus 6 minus of product of 8 and minus 4 here we do subtract we, we do multiplication first and then subtraction so 8 8 into minus 4 equal to minus 32 so now minus 6 minus of minus 32 Minus of minus 32 is equal to plus 32. Now, uh, minus 6 and plus 32 different sign integers. So, we find the difference between 32 and minus 6 is equal to plus 26. Right hand side equal to plus 26. Left hand side equal to plus 56. Here, left hand side is not equal to right hand side. Third sum, 3 into minus 4 plus minus 10 and 3 product of 3 and minus 4 is added with the product of 3 and minus 10. Here left hand side equal to 3 into minus 4 plus minus 10. So now we do the addition first and then multiplication. Minus 4 and minus 10 or same sign integers we add the we add minus 4 and minus 10 we get minus 14 minus 14 is multiplied with 3 we get minus 42 so left hand side equal to minus 42 then right hand side right hand side equal to product of 3 and minus 4 is added with product of 3 and minus 10 First, 
we do the multiplication and then addition. 3, 4, 3 4s are 12. 1 integer having negative sign. So, uh, the answer is in negative. Okay. 3 into minus 4 equal to minus 12. And then 3 into minus 10 equal to minus 30. Minus 12 minus 30 or same sign integers. We add minus 12 and minus 30. We get minus 42. Right hand side equal to minus 42. Here left hand side and right hand side both are minus 42. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. This is known as the distributive property of multiplication over addition. Okay, what is the property? Distributive property of multiplication over addition. Sixth sum. During summer, the level of the water in a pond decreases by 2 inches every week due to evaporation. What is the change in the level of the water over a period of 6 weeks? Level of water decrease a week equal to 2 inches. So, we can find what is the uh, level of water decrease for 6 weeks. 6 into 2 equal to 12 inches. So, after 6 weeks, the level of water decreases equal to 6 into 2 equal to 12 inches. Seventh sum. Find all possible pairs of integers that give a product of minus 50. First, we can find the factors of 50. And then, we, we can write the pairs of integers that gives the product minus 50. So, first, we write the factors of 50. What are the factors of 50? 1, 2, 5, 10, 25 and 50. Now we can write the pairs of all possible pairs of integers that gives the product minus 50. So the answer is in negative. So one of the number must be in negative. Okay. So, 1 into 50 equal to minus 50. Minus 1 into 50 also gives minus 50. 2 into minus 25 equal to minus 50. Minus 2 into 25 equal to minus 50. 5 tens are 50. So, 5 into minus 10 equal to minus 50. Minus 5 into my plus 10 equal to minus 50 so the possible so here uh, there are six possible pairs of integers that gives product of minus 50 next we do objective questions which of the following expressions is equal to minus 30 here also first we Write the factors of 30. What are the factors? Third factors of 30. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. From the given answers, the fourth answer is my 6 into 5. The answer is minus 30. So, one of the integer is in negative. So, minus 6 into 5 gives minus 30. So, the fourth option is the answer. Next, 11 into minus 1. So, 11 ones are 11. But, the, uh, but one, one integer is in negative. So, the answer is minus 11. Here also, fourth option is the answer. 
which property is illustrated by the equation of 5 into 2 plus 5 into 5 equal to 5 into 2 plus 5. This property is known as distributive property of multiplication over addition. Here third option is the answer. Minus 12 into minus 9 equal to dash here 12 nines are 108 here even number of times negative so the answer must be positive minus 12 into minus 9 equal to plus 108 so the first option 108 is the answer Students, I hope you all understood the exercise 1.3. Thank you.